Here we go once again, like I said, this route arches perfectly to the sideline, but you can see how this X route here just gets right up the middle of the field here. Both of these routes are gonna beat their coverage. The for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffer the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an explosive pass play for you guys today. This is going to be part two of my Titans single back doubles Y off. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the first part, if you guys didn't catch the run plays, I'll have a link in the description because that's very important. But if you guys want to see a full Woo! breakdown of this offense on YouTube, hit the like button and leave it in the comment section because this is one of my favorite offenses right now. I'm in the Titans playbook one more time, but like I said in the first video, this can be found in the Falcons. This can be found in the Packers, although I think the Packers is missing a few of these plays. That particular pass play is going to be the PA corner or post i have my audible set up um, where typically the last play is going to be the pa post i wish this play had a better selection of pass plays because it's a super glitchy formation when it comes to the run plays but this pass was pretty much gonna be the only pass play you need this entire offense is really based on the idea of pounding the rock until your opponent run commits or comes down to the box user ring try to stop the run and then beating them over the top of the pass but i'm going to show you guys today which is one of my favorite play ways to play this game i mean it's a, it's a calculated way and it really has a lot of success if you're good at running the football now the only thing that is really important when it comes to this play uh, when it comes to your adjustments is really your substitutions you want to make sure your best two receivers are going to be at these two spots whether it's the run plays or the pass plays that's going to be important when it comes to the end around you're probably going to want your fastest best receiver here where typically your best receiver will be at the other flanker spot which is going to be over here so make sure that you swap that out make sure you have your best two receivers at these two spots so let's go and let's pick the pa corner post on the defensive side we're going to go we're going to start off with tampa 2 and work our way back like we always do now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors aos.com if you guys want to get your money team up and help support the channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and your discount code money to get three percent off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market and they also sell products for just about every single video game you like to play especially sports games like nba 2k fifa uh things like that rocket league any game you play they're going to have products for that and you get a discount on them by using my discount code money which gives you three percent off now as far as cover two goes there's a couple different things you can do the the majority of the setups are going to include me motioning in this x receiver which i said in the first video you want to make sure you have your best two receivers at these two particular spots but you can also do another setup with this play where you essentially motion across this slot receiver and for some reason he stops right next to the tight end this is perfect so against cover two i'm going to put the a route on a streak i'm going to put the b route on a drag and block my running back i don't really need him doing that you can also put your b route on a, on a slant if you want a better you know a better check down than the drag but the drag is fine and you're going to see how this wire out here gets outside of the coverage cornerback. Now there I had a guy, you know, basically hit me in the face, but you can see he did get outside of that. We'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Like I said, I'm blocking my running back because I want a little extra pass pro, but this is a very good defensive line. So we might have, uh, def you know, Buckner in our face. Here we go once again. Like I said, this route arches perfectly to the sideline. I ran out of bounds there, but you can see he got outside perfectly at the spot that he needed to be. I'll move the ball over. That'll make it a little bit easier. This play and most offensive plays are going to be best if you run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. It just gives you more room for the receivers to run their routes. I'll go and I'll do that again. The exact same setup. The B route is a really good check down, but it really doesn't have to be a drag. You can put him in a smoke or anything you want short. I just want to get him out of the way. And you can see, though, the cornerback does react inside because of that drag, which is pretty much what I want to do. Then I run out of bounds again. But you can see it's a very, a very good setup. So that's one option. But ultimately, the best way to run this is going to be by motioning in the X route 
putting the Y route here on a slant and then putting your B route on that drag once again. I could block my tight end because he's not really doing too much. But ultimately, this is the look. I mean, the, the, the drag is a good check down. You gotta just put him on a 10 yard out route. That's gonna be something that works to pull the safeties apart, which is gonna be helpful. So it's really up to you which one you wanna do. But you can see how this X route here just gets right up the middle of the field here for a very easy one play touchdown against cover two man or zone, which I'll show you guys in a minute. I'll do it both ways. I'll do it with the drag and I'll do it with the out route. Like I said, the drag is just a really good check down, but it's really not necessary considering, uh, as you can see right here, I mean, the safety, he's still playing down. At the end of the day, the safety drops to a point where it's not effective and it's getting beat over the top regardless. So this play will have the ex exact same success against a lot of defenses, but we'll do cover two man next. So it's going to be the exact same setup, make that motion. Put that Y route on a slant to, to hold that safety down. Put the B route on a drag. Everything else, I mean, I could leave my, my, my A and my B route there if I want additional check downs, but I don't need it because the slant is going to be a check down and so will the B route. So ultimately, I'm going to have a lot more blocking this way. This is going to make the play a lot easier. And then you can see, once again, even though we're getting some pressure, we're getting over the top for what's essentially a one play touchdown. Pressure is probably the biggest issue when it comes to a play like this. We'll go and we'll do that one more time slide my protection a little bit maybe I'll, i might have to start double teaming the fourth buckner or something like that but you can see the safety doesn't react to the deep crosser it reacts to the slant and we have a very easy one play touchdown again against cover two so any cover two this works so next up we'll do cover three and cover one like we typically do cover three sky we'll start off with so when it comes to cover three i'm going to go back to the original setup i did where i had the b route on a 10 yard out route this here is going to basically uh, create the separation i need from the cornerback so if you're not good at reading defenses i'll go and I'll do the full setup and block my running back block my tight end if you're not good at reading defenses this is going to be the best setup because it works against cover two uh, man zone and cover three like i'm showing you now and it'll work against cover one which i'll show you in a second so if you can't read a defense just run this setup the entire time and you'll see how this x route here will get going just as long as you have i mean that was almost picked mostly because i don't have a very strong on quarterback you can also do the same setup with that i did against cover two if you do this it's going to be the exact same result against cover three because the b route is going to pull back uh the corner and then he's basically hit him underneath uh with this route again so once again a very good play regardless whether you want to use it as a one play touchdown or not but obviously the one play touchdown is going to be best so let's go and let's do that again so we're going to just need a little bit of protection and you can see how we're getting over the top Although, like I said, see, I don't have a ton of arm strength. I'm not getting a ton of pass pro, but we have a one-play touchdown against cover three pretty easily. So that's both cover twos, also cover three. Let's go and let's pick cover one because that's the closest looking one to cover three. Again, it's cover one, same way as cover two and cover three. You can do the exact same setup by motioning this receiver over and basically making them an additional tight end. This is a very good look. Do the exact same thing I did against cover two. And you're going to see how this Y route here, it's just a very good play against man or zone. You can see he beats that coverage there. It's got a weird animation at the end, but you can see he beats it. Now, whether you want to motion across the Y route or not, he's going to be the best play against man coverage. You can still have have success doing the exact same setup typically the slant is going to be the better play of the two but you're going to see how the x route typically you know the defensive player really runs the route for him when it comes to the post route so you really have to switch it up if you read the defense correctly the y route is now going to be the play so to set that up, motion him across, put the X route on a streak, and now we're going to be attacking the Y route. So we can, you know, the A route's a really good check down if you want to leave that. The B route, you know, just want to put him on a drag, just something to basically, uh, you know, pull that defender away. But now you can see the Y route here just gets really, you know, just cooks his defender very easily. It's a much better play against man coverage than the post route. I find this setup actually works best um, if you just leave all the routes. I find I'm actually getting better pass pro. Like I said, this tight end here is a very good play, even though it's not a very good tight end. You can see how we have uh, a ton of routes on this play that can beat man coverage. But let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's do that play one more time. Like I said, they're, they're busting around for that uh, for that running back, and then boom, Julio right over the top for a very easy one play touchdown against man coverage. So that's it for man coverages. All we have left is cover four. We're going to pick that play one more time. We'll start off with cover for match and then we'll work our way back to cover for regular. Against cover for cores, you just have to put B route on a 10 yard out route. You don't have to do any ad additional setup. The Y route is going to basically roast whatever safety is designed to cover him in this quarter's play. Now there it didn't quite get going, but whoever's in that four quarters spot is going to struggle against the receiver. That's just kind of how it is. So no real adjustments. Just put this uh, B route on a 10 yard out route. You can see the tight end would probably be a really good route too. The X route looks like he's getting open sometimes as well. 
quarters coverage does a lot better against post routes than it did in the past. But you can still see from time to time both of these routes are going to beat their coverage. I could have went to either one of them there. I could have went to uh, AJ Brown or Julio Jones. So while the, uh, the Y route is definitely the most consistent, the X route does from time to time have a chance to beat its opponent. So keep an eye on that. As you can see, we get another easy one play touchdown right there against cover four quarters. And then last but not least, we got cover four regular. We'll have to back out and go to a dollar look to find a regular cover four. So we got cover four drop. Now against cover four regular, this is even easier. Just put the B route on a streak. That's all you gotta do. That Y route's gonna be the play one more time. You're gonna see how he basically just gets right over the top of that cover four corner, which is something I've pointed out a lot of times about this route. I don't know what it is, but the cover four cornerback just doesn't recognize it or drop back to stop it. You can see on this play, the safety does react until the other route gets behind him, then he turns away. And at that point, I can basically bullet pass lead away at any point in time because he's behind the cornerback and the cornerback can't flip his hips and get to it. Now, if you want to, you can do that motion. You can put that X route on a slant if you want to. All this is, you know, up to you. It gives you another option. It's just not necessary. As you'll see once again, the Y route just gets right behind that. And we have an even easier play. So, you know, he was even more wide open there, but you don't have to make that adjustment. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, run plays and pass plays, I'll have additional pass plays on my Patreon and my Join Now community tab. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.